All right. Now we're doing free code camp, responsive web design, learn HTML by building a cat photo app. Step 49. All right. So if we select the indoor radio button and submit the form, the form data for the button is based on its name and value attributes, all right? Uh, since our radio buttons do not have a value attribute, the form data will include indoor slash, pardon me, indoor dash outdoor equals on, which is not useful when we have multiple buttons, okay? Uh, we're gonna add a value attribute to both radio buttons, and for convenience, we're gonna set the button's value attribute to the same value as its ID attribute, all right? So let's go over to W3 schools and check out this value attribute because that one's, uh, I, I wasn't really understanding what they were saying. So let's go to uh, value HTML attribute. How about that? Uh, HTML value attribute. Mm, let's put input in there, input. Uh, okay, HTML input value attribute. That should work. All right, so down here, the definition in usage. The value attribute specifies the value of an input element, all right? The value attribute is used differently for different value types, pardon me, different input types. So for button reset and submit, it defines the text on the button, okay? Uh, for text value and, pardon me, and hidden, it defines the initial or default value of the input field, all right? And for checkbox radio and image, and we're using it for radio, it defines the value associated with the input. So this also this is also the value that is sent on submit. So when we click it, when we click either the indoor or the outdoor, it's going to associate the value with the input. Okay, so, okay, 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 I get it. So we're gonna come down here and we're gonna say value, value, value equals, and then right here we'll say indoor like this. And so it'll send indoor to the uh, database or wherever we're sending it instead of this thing right here, which would be the name, all right? So let's take this right here, copy it. And right here after these double quotes, let's put that in there and change the in to out. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Okay, out like that. And that should work. These values should be sent to the uh, uh, database when we send it out. Which database? This one right here, right? So let's check the code. Looks good. And submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 50. And we'll see you next time.